This is Twit. Uh, lucky iOS 13. Um, we're getting iOS 13 in two days on Thursday, September 19th. Uh, and frankly, I'm excited for one feature in particular. I love swipey phone keyboards or, or t- tab- <laughs> tablet keyboards. I really do. But I've never been happy with any of the third-party iOS add-on keyboards. I've tried them all. Gboard, Swipe, Swift Key, and, you know, and their, their ilk. Um, and I found that they all behave, they all misbehave in various ways. Most often by failing to deploy when they are needed. So, you know, you'll sometimes come to a form and you like tap in the field and like it like sometimes the bottom will blank out and it's like, hello, <laughs> I need a keyboard here. <laughs> Nothing. So anyway, uh, I'm iOS 13 finally has a swipey keyboard built in. And I say, yay, because I would just love to stay with the one that will hopefully deploy when it's supposed to. Uh, unlike any of the, like all of those third-party keyboards don't. I predict um, in a future episode, you will also, <laughs> f- whether we've done it or not, I don't know, but you will also find uh, praise for iOS 13's privacy measures. They really now, recognizing that the biggest problem with iOS, thir- iOS is the third-party apps. You know, yep. Apple can lock everything down, but if Facebook sucks, you know, it sucks. So, in fact, if you, when you first sucks put, your data, it sucks, sucks your, your data. data. When you put iOS yeah. 13 on, all of a sudden you're going to get a cascade of warnings from Facebook saying, hey, they're looking at your location. Here's the map. You know, I think this is really good. Apple is wow. aggressively. That's going for, to force behavior on on. Uh, other sites. Well, what it forced Facebook to do is already publish an article saying, "Here's why we really should know where you are." <laughs> this is <laughs> please don't. And it even says, you know, we recommend you don't. You always allow us to look at your location. We strongly recommend that. So, yeah, yeah. Get and I ready. heard. I heard. I heard Renee mention that uh, Pokemon. Uh, like he, he he gets a pop up every week. He wants to say, yeah, oh, by by right. the way, it's still right. you know you it, it's still got your location information. I I think that kind of a of a persistent reminder is you know very cool. Basically, as Steve Jobs said this years ago, he said, "Let them know, let them know again, make them let make them tell you to stop letting me know." Because yep. people, uh, and Renee's concern, which is legitimate, is that people might just go, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think so. I've already experienced this. I've been using the beta for some time. It is a great, I really appreciate it. And I always say, do not allow unless, you know, usually uh, if it's a mapping app, I just say, don't allow unless the app's open. If I've opened the app, yeah, you got to look at where you are. There's no reason in that map app needs to know where I am if it's not running. Right or Facebook or anything else. So I think right. it's I, cool. and as, especially if these things are power consumers. Also, yes. if it if it's like draining your battery because it wants to keep you, like an eye on you, it's like no, no go away, go away. Yeah. So uh, you you've been using the beta. It, it has a swipey keyboard, right? I actually haven't tried it. I should try it. Oh, Leo. <laughs> okay, well, I'm dying. I, I got, I mean, I for me, it's just like such a convenience to oh, have. Oh, I far prefer yep. swipe. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And, of course, I use, yeah. uh, on my Android devices, I use it all the time because the, the default keyboard always on Android has it. I don't know. Yeah. Let me uh, let me start typing well, something. And well, see. Well, I, well, I tell our users why we won't be using 13.0 for long. Yeah. It turns out. That we will be jumping to 13.1 very soon the after the release, yeah. uh, yes, of 13.0, since a headline-grabbing lock screen bypass bug oh, is already oh. already known to oh. exist, and it still exists in the Golden Master version of iOS 13 that has already been loaded into the many hundreds of thousands of iPhones in shipping containers out there on the high seas. Ah, now I understand. Ah. Yeah, iOS 13 contains a vulnerability that allows anyone to bypass the lock screen protection to access sensitive information this on that user's phone. This has historically been a problem on Apple for years. Yes, well, it, and you know, it's because there are just so many... 
of those accessibility and Siri and convenience features, they, 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 they just keep finding a way around. In fact, this guy, Jose Rodriguez, uh, he found the one on tw- that was the bypass, I think it was in 12.1. Uh, so he's revealed that he discovered a lock screen bypass bug in 13 that allowed him to access the full list of contacts on his iPhone and every piece of information saved within them. Jose discovered the newly introduced lock screen bypass bug on his own iPhone while he was running the iOS 13 beta and reported it immediately to Apple two months ago, actually exactly two months ago, on July 17th. However, even that was apparently too late for Apple to do anything about it. They had already got their supply chain ramped up and were stamping out iOS 13 into all the phones that they were prepping for you know the big release. So that bypass remains working in the golden master version of iOS 13, which we all get in two days, even those of us who aren't jumping on new pads or phones, and I'm not because, I mean, I, I, I did watch all of your coverage on it uh, last Tuesday, and uh, it's like, yeah, okay. Uh, not, you know, I'm not a huge camera person, um, but I definitely want iOS 13. So uh, we'll be able to get iOS 13 in two days. Uh, the lock screen bug is like those we've seen before, where someone having physical access to a targeted iPhone is able to trick the phone into granting them access to the full list of stored contacts, as well as detailed information for each individual contact, including names, phone numbers, emails, and so forth, using a FaceTime call. Um, This is also similar to the the same one that Jose discovered last year in iOS 12.1, just a few hours after Apple released 12.1, it allowed anyone to bypass the phone's lock screen using the built-in voiceover feature. Um, uh, th- so this bug requires activating a FaceTime call on the target iPhone and then accessing Siri's voiceover support feature to obtain access to the contact list and all the information saved there. However, the problem won't exist for long as it is very much expected to be patched in 13.1, which is expected to begin trickling out to the public 11 days later on Monday, September 30th. So if this really worries you, you could disable automatic updates until October 1st and jump right over from 12.4.1, where we are today, over to 13.1 and you know, skip that, but I'm not worried about it. You know, besides you, so you have, someone has to physically have your phone in order to get to your contacts. So, and there's a not know. insignificant amount of fiddling they have to do. So they'd have to have your phone <laughs> yes, without you true. looking at them for some, you know, a yes. minute or two. Cause there's, as that we just ran true. the video, it's a lot of steps. It's not an easy, yep. yeah. Yep. 